The 6150 reporting model can be pretty complicated. You essentially report members of a data set, uh, either by exception, typically by exception. In other words, only the changed values are sent at any, in, in any given report message. The um, exceptions can be triggered either by data or quality changes or freeze updates for counters. There's also a uh, periodic integrity report uh, multiple clients, multiple data sets, so you can have the same data going to different clients at different times within different data sets. There's a buffered and unbuffered mode that I'll talk about in terms of how that works. And there's various formats of reports that you can do to save on bandwidth and make things simpler for the client. Again, the model is a little bit complicated. I'll go into more detail in the next slide. This iconic view shows how the unbuffered reporting model works. On the left, we have data objects within a data set, which, which is the, the oval, circle, triangle, square within that oval shows the, the actual data objects that are named within the data set. As changes occur to that data, we see a flow from right to left of the values that are occurring as the change events occur. There's some logic within the 61850 model that does filtering and formatting of those changes. That filtering and formatting process turns that sequence of changes into a sequence of messages. Each message can contain the value of one or more changes, essentially the values that have changed just within that whole data set at, at one given point in time. So you'll see that the the first two changes in the sequence are reflected in the first message. The next change goes in a separate message. The formatting of that data and those that's, that sequence of report messages is controlled by a report control block that sets the parameters for the filtering and formatting process. That report control typically can be get and set, in other words, read and written by the client uh, to be able to change the report control. Now notice that, again, a given report control can be reporting one data set. The messages go basically to the client that subscribed to it. You can have multiple instances of report controls and multiple instances of data sets or data within data objects within multiple data sets. So the, the actual report can be going to multiple places at once and may be formatted differently in the messages if each report control block has different parameters. The buffered reporting model works much the same. Uh, the major difference is that after filtering and formatting, that sequence of changes or sequence of messages is stored in a buffer. And so the messages going off to the client um, if they're delayed in any way, either because of flow control problems in the network or because the connection goes down, they remain in this buffer for some period of time, basically until they get overwritten. Um, there's a, and there's signaling to say, to tell the client that data has been lost if, it's, if the connection is down for too long. Otherwise, it's the same model, uh, working also with a report control block. Um, the, the basic concept is simply to allow some level of, of, of robustness to the model. The logging model within 61850 works very much the same as the reporting model. Basically, values from the sequence of changes of data within the data set are logged. It uses the same triggering as the report model. Um, it's logged to a Again, a circular buffer, typically much larger than the reporting model. You can log multiple data sets into one circular buffer um, by basically using multiple log control blocks all pointing at the same buffer. Uh, multiple clients can receive this log. It's, it's open to requests from multiple associations at the same time. And you can retrieve values from that log either by entry number or timestamp. This diagram shows the log model, and again, other than the size of the log, uh, the size of the circular buffer, it's the same as the buffered control or buffered report control model, except for that instead of sending data on on 
on changes, the, the stream of data isn't actually sent to the client unless the client requests it. And they can request it, as we said, in multiple ways to retrieve the log entries, which correspond to the reports in the reporting model. Again, the, there's a control block that controls this process, and the client can get or set the parameters to manage that. Now, I should mention that these, these parameters on some devices, limited devices, may in fact not be writable. They may be configurable through this, the um, substation configuration language file. Uh, in which case it's managed at config time, not at runtime, and so these operations wouldn't be these, the get and set requests on the control block would not be done real time in the in the uh, in the network. It would be configured ahead of time. 